Have you ever wondered which AI model to choose for your AI agents or are you tired of uh, overspending your credits? Then this video is for you because today I'm going to show you a system where your AI agents picks their own chat models dynamically based on the task you give them. In this way, you can boost the performance on your workflows as well as make them efficient and save up on your credits. And the transparency of this system allows us to have the full visibility on which models that our agent picked based on the input so we can always go back there and make them better and optimize them for better results. So as you can see, uh, we are talking to our agent inside the Telegram and uh, here I'm saying that uh, hey tell me a joke so i'm sending the message we receive it and the agent is picking up the model and we are saving it uh, in a google sheet and we are responding inside the telegram so as you can see it says that sure here here is your joke why don't scientists trust atoms because they make up everything and if i go to the log output you will see that here we have uh, input we have the output and here we can see the model that our agent chose and as you can see, uh, in this case, it is using uh, GPT-41 Nano. So our agent used this model because we gave it a very basic input and also uh, it gives us the very basic output. So let's go back to our Telegram. Uh, this time I'm, I'm telling uh, our agent to create an event for today, 12 p.m. And if I click uh, send, you will see that uh, it will start to ch uh, picking up the model and hitting the uh, create event uh, tool. And now it is writing on the log and we finally got back with our response. It says that an event has been created for today 12 p.m ending time 1 p.m if you need to add any details or invite others let me know so if you go back to our uh, google sheet you will see that here we have a, a new row uh, which we have the input and output and this time you can see that uh, it used gpt 4.1 all right let's do another test where i'm saying do a research on ai agents and create a summarized blog post so if i click send it will go through and start choosing the brain and right now it is hitting Tavoli to do a research on that on the web and again it's coming back to uh, the the brain i think it is it is writing the blog post for us now and hopefully it will log it inside our google sheet and send us back the message yeah as you can see uh, we got the message back in our uh, telegram let's see what, what we got here uh, below is a summarized blog post on AI agents uh, based on our research so let's go to our Google Sheet and see this time which model it chose. Yes, as you can see, it chose the uh, O1, which is a reasoning model. Uh, basically, this model is better for uh, deep research on the web. And it used this model to create uh, this blog post for us. So what is actually happening in this uh, workflow is that we send a message to our Telegram. And the first agent that we have is the uh, model selector agent. So uh, the job for this agent is actually uh, to analyze our a message inside the telegram basically our input and defines which model is the best to choose so here uh, we are uh, for the prompt or user message we are feeding the uh, input uh, from our telegram to this uh, model selector agent which you see that the last uh, input i uh, used was do a research on ai agent and create a summarized blog post basically we drag and drop it here and we have a system uh, message or instruction for this uh, agent we are saying that you are an ai agent re responsible for selecting the most suitable uh, large language model to handle and basically we are telling that uh, these are the available models you have you have uh, 4.1 nano uh, gpt 4.1 uh, and you have the o1 and at the end we are telling our agent that only output uh, the name of the model so once it receives the uh, input it will analyze it and based on our input it will output one of these three names and for the brain for this agent we are using uh, google gemini uh, flash 2.0 which is free to use and this uh, chat model can handle a very simple task and right now this, the task is very simple only agent needs to understand based on the input which model to choose and then it will output one of those models that we have and feed it to our smart agent and our smart agent is always looking for the message that we send in the telegram so you see that prompt user message is the uh, do a research one we are uh, uh, pulling up the information or pulling up the uh, input from our chat and here we are giving a, a very a simple uh, system message Basically, we are telling that here's the current date and time. Uh, we are giving it ad access to know what time or what date is it. And this smart agent also is connected uh, to a chat model. Here we are uh, using the OpenAI dynamic chat model. But the key point here is that we are choosing our model by ID, not by the uh, list. Because if you choose list, you will get the list from OpenAI. We don't choose that, we choose ID. And from fixed here, we change it to expression because we want to reference it to the output 
uh, from the uh, model selector agent which is uh, here so from here we will grab it and put it here so right now whatever output is coming from the model selector agent will go here and here you see that the output was 01 so this chat model will use the O1 model. And from there, we are feeding the output uh, from the smart agent into a Google Sheet. And basically, we store all the uh, information we have. And then we'll uh, send back a, a response to the, to the user inside the Telegram. So for the Google Sheet, I've connected my uh, Google account. And for the operation, we are using append row, which is basically creating a new row. And here I'm choosing the document or on the Google Sheet. We, uh, this is the name for it and inside it we have only one page which is uh, sheet one and here we are uh, mapping everything manually inside the google sheet we have a timestamp input output and model and here we are referencing the timestamp which is the code for it and the input is the first message from telegram we are taking it from here and the output is the actual uh, output task and for the model, we are mapping it from the uh, model selector agent here. And the next thing after that is actually to send the message in Telegram. The operation is sent. The chat ID is the exact ID that we send the message from. And the text, we are mapping it from the output for the uh, smart agent, which is here. And by the way, you can download this template uh, completely for free. All you need to do is actually to join my free WAP community. The link to it is down in the description. And once you join the community, you can go to the learn section and under the learn section you can find free automation templates and from there you can download this template for free and once you download it just come back to your nn open up a new workflow and click on uh, three dots here and click on import from file and import the file inside your editor and once you have the template inside your editor uh, here somewhere you will see a sticky note where i put all the information on how to uh, set up and connect your credentials and start working with this workflow once again thank you so much made it so far watching this video if you enjoyed it and if you found value just give it a like it definitely helps me out and if you have any questions just let me know down in the comment section and i'll be reading them and answering them as soon as possible see you in the next video